Good morning, everyone. How are you? I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the daily devotional with this little book, The Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is November 27, 2020, Friday, and the title of today's devotional is Power in Witness. The scripture is from 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 6 through 10. But if I wish to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will be speaking the truth, but I refrain from it, so that no one may think better of me than what is seen in me and heard from me, even considering the exceptional character of the revelations. Therefore, to keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given me in the flesh, in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. So I will boast, boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, inserts, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. Today is a story from Kathy, who lives in Wisconsin. There is on there is an old preacher that begins, I don't feel no way tired. The song goes on to say that even though the road is not easy, God has been with us until now and will not abandon us. I wish I could say that the words to this song ring true for me all the time. But truth, the truth, is sometimes I do get tired along my Christian journey. In fact, I admit that all times I have felt that God did leave me. But when reality sets, me, sets in, I realize that it's me. Operating on my own strength, my own agenda, and my Flawed uh, humanness. Who has left God? In truth, it is when I am tired and feeling alone that I should be most dependent on God. Paul confirms this in our scripture for today. The Lord said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. In those moments when I am feeling defeated, I can find peace in the presence of God. My uh, weariness never lasts because God, at the right time, steps in to surround me with love. Love that will never let me go. Then I know that God didn't bring me this far to leave me. Yes, I mean, we don't like weakness. We'd like to avoid that moment. We don't admit our weakness before people. You know what? We can come to God and God can change our weakness to His strong, His strength. God can change our weakness to a strong things for God's kingdom and God's glory. As she mentioned, when we are weak, 
we can rely on to God more. And we focus on God more. And we come to God more. When we are strong, when we can do everything, we usually try to do everything by ourselves and does not go to God, does not rely on God. Maybe we can be stubborn when we do everything by ourselves. However, we are not per perfect at all. No one is perfect. Every people have, every person have, has their weakness. Instead of hiding or avoiding the weakness, let us admit our weakness before God and ask God to use us for God's kingdom and God's glory. We can be strong because God is strong and God can use our weakness as God's strength for God's kingdom for God's ministries. So let's come to God and ask God to help us and lead us. Let me read the uh, prayer that Kathy wrote here and then I will add my prayer. Let us pray together. O oh Lord, when we grow weary, give us strength to com continue knowing your love and power will sustain us. Gracious God, we know you know that we are weak. We are not perfect. So we need your help, your strength, your wisdom, and your mercy. Please be with us and help us and let us follow you and let us see you. Please use our, your, our weakness as your strength for your kingdom and for your glory. Please your people, remember your people, and provide what we need in your sight, in your time. We give thanks and we give praise. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope I can see you on Sunday for worship. Actually, we do not have in-person worship this coming Sunday and next Sunday because of the pandemic. We will have online worship, so please be with us. And through the church Facebook page and YouTube channel, join us in the worship. The worship is our foundation of faith. Please join us. And I will see you next Tuesday with this devotional. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.